plot twist. Who was the thief? No way. It was Chris, a.k.a. Eris. I think it was pretty obvious. Uh, this is an interesting thing that she's going around kind of like taking back these hack cheat items, which are items that Aqua has bestowed upon these uh, Yushas, quote unquote heroes. They're in the Isekai and basically like black, you know, black haired people with like funny names, Japanese names, Mitsurugi, Kyohei, you know, Kazuma, Sato, stuff like that. They, she's basically doing garbage collection there. Uh, besides that, there was also other multiple fan service scenes. I think it was really funny how Kazuma and the lord of this place, you know, Elder, could kind of relate. It's like, nah, I see the degenerate side in you too, and it was like, kind of true. And then, I believe, there's like a Mao alert. I think there's some demon lord general squad, some kind of threats. And we're expecting things to be easy, because this city, this nation, this whatever place we're in, it's got high-level adventurers. Surely... We won't need to get, you know, uh, we won't need to put in work, right? But it's Konosuba. Let's get real. We're gonna fucking do something. Let's begin today's reaction, though. It's like this in every city. You remember in season one, our guild receptionist to every fucking other episode. Mo alert! Mo alert! To the front gates, everybody! Destroy your alert! Destroy your alert! Nefarious friends for the sheltered princess. Oh, I am starting to realize the guild receptionist uniform is same. It's, it's, it's the same outfit. It's the same one where I question how the fuck is this holding up? There is nothing being perched over the shoulders. This top should be falling down. It's been stiffened just like how hard everyone's fucking <clears throat> is when staring at this uniform. Well. Well, if we don't meet the level expectations, I'm just going to go back home and sleep. Jesus Christ, we actually don't even qualify. Oh, Claire? What the fuck? Yeah. The champion of AXA? I know that he's accomplished a lot, but to be recognized at these important, like, end games, you know, kingdom cities... Are we getting baited? I don't know. Usually, whenever things are going this well in this show, we're getting set up to fail. Oh, it's not a big deal, guys. <laughs> and then this is where Mohawk Man is in the corner. Just be like, <laughs> I always knew that he had potential or something. <laughs> Princess Iris. And we gotta win for her. Your amazing brain. How are you just gonna reverse everything that people were glazing up? It's actually incredible how just how much of an L Aqua can be sometimes. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Suga King Yusha of Axel. Who is this girl? Yo, you see this pink haired girl over here? You, 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 see, you see her? What, what is this design? Also, that's Sun Wukong! That is literally Monkey King Sun Wukong with this fucking staff! What, yeah, some of these characters in here are just like little easter eggs. No shot, Cosmo already died. Mm -hmm. No! They- Right after the intermission?! You know what? If Eris didn't fucking steal, sorry, Chris didn't steal the hack items from us, maybe we'd still be alive. Damn. This is, this is embarrassing. Did Iris see it? Did Iris see our death? What's going on, Eris? You still patting your chest? I think you are. Um. Okay. <laughs> oh! Jesus! Goblin Slayer, episode one. She deserves this. So get king. She's doing it. Is it working? It's working. It's actually very. I love how she always just like mixes in. It's like God Blow, God Requiem, God Punch, and then Nature's Beauty, a little party trick. She always does this, man. Did he just say God Requiem? The Cobalt? This is called Chun Chusuke? Chumosuke? No, Chun Chun Maru. Oh, we're gonna get gangbanged by Cobalt. 
an army of little cobalt just killed Kazuma, bro. That's an L. When did I sexually harass anyone? We did. Nighttime. Chris was there. And then there was Jello. There was always Jello moving around. So Kazuma has stolen Chris's penny, sexually harassed her. No, and it's Chris. Oh no, is this ship over? <laughs> she pads her chest, right? Confirmed. More confirmation. 200% confirmed. That's what you always say. The precious orthodox heroine. That's what you think of her? Yes. Everything. She watches everything. What? But will I gain your favor? Okay, going back to that little side quest she was doing. But if Kazuma does it, now he gets to collect all the OP items and he can abuse it. Well, I'm sure it's not going to be that simple, but interesting. Oh, we're up! Shiwa Shiwa! How does she already have a bottle out? Did they win? Yeah, they did. Oh my god, they did. Really? Nothing? No boss? <laughs> Even her spits rainbow like the puke? This is how she resurrects people? She drinks liquor and spits on the corpse and then- Oh my god, it worked! I wonder... If... The alcohol has nothing to do with it. 100%. The Shiwa Shiwa doesn't matter, right? The Shiwa Shiwa is just an excuse for her to get more drunk and to get, like, more, you know, expensive alcohol. I bet she was like, I need the finest alcohol if you want me to resurrect this guy. Monster at random. Switch body item. Okay. That's it? Just two? Is there any more? Oh, you know the thing she does where she charges in and she gets all fucked up and she moans in pleasure and everyone cries. Oh, what a holy paladin. There was a commander here today? Was there actually? Oh, Wawatina. <laughs> She's getting carried on a stretcher. <laughs> Let's go, Megumi. Token Molly, Megumi, let's go. Wait, they know the line. This is the exact line. The foremost wielder of magic in Axel, right? And she who would reduce all to cinder. Sometimes that part kind of, you know, there's a lot of variations. But the foremost wielder of magic, that's the thing. I mean, technically, isn't, uh, what's her name? Liz Wiz. Technically, like, the strongest magician in Axel. What is this fucking gushing of romantical girls? We'll catch you back next time and then just fucking leave. It's like they're just here to play. The new explosion too, the most leveled up explosion. Uh, I don't think they're lollicons, right? I think they're just pretty proud of Megumin's power. Darkness probably could. She did. I mean, it was a combo attack of like Wiz, Aqua, Megumi. Wiz really clutched. Wiz clutches in every finale, actually, in season one and two. We don't have advanced magic, right? Because we skipped that shit. I think this is explained in the spin-off story with Union. I'm busy. No, I think the humiliation is exhausting. Did Iris see Kazuma get gang killed by Kobas though?
Now, I don't see Iris and Cosma like that, but do you think that Megumi sees Iris as a threat? Uh, mm -hmm. Jealousy, for sure, jealousy that Onisama was kind of... Onisama? Hmm. Onisama? Oh, oh. It's all right. <laughs> Ew! It's this thing again! It's the fucking grossest thing! And then uh, there's a, the butler comes in and we're like, uh, Sebastian, please do this. He's like, it's Heidel, sir. Megumi needs to start calling uh, Kazuma Onisama too. Are we really? You enjoy that homeless life? <laughs> Back in Axel? Um, you know, those times were good. Those times were good. Why are you blushing? Oh, more Onisama. And? What did Claire say? No? No? Yeah, he literally died too. Wait, you're already walking. I thought it would take a longer time. Alright, we still haven't seen the crown prince, Jatis, yet, right? The guy that's like super OP or something. Also, is this uh, one of the cheat items that. Eris sent us for? Maybe not? I don't know. If there's one, swap bodies and spawn random monsters, right? What's yours is mine. What's mine is yours. Now I'm new. It's the body swap relic. It is it. Yeah. Megumi Kazuma. Swap? Kazuma Iris. Swap? Megumi Iris. Well, what's gonna happen? Who's gonna swap? <laughs> ah shit! It's the incantation. It's the incantation, right? He read it out loud, so it's working. <laughs> Kazuma becomes Iris. That'd be pretty funny. I'm gonna just assume that we are waking up in the perspective of Iris, but that this is Kazuma. Does she talk like that usually? Wait, it's Iris and Kazuma. Bro became the lolly. The voice acting. Oh, the voice acting. He's gonna talk like Iris and she's gonna talk like Kazuma. I'm actually Iris. <laughs> Call Iris. Yo, Iris suddenly just like changing her voice. So good. <laughs> Kazuma's so zesty! Gee, I wonder what this is, Kazuma. Limited amount of time. What? Onisama! Onisama! No longer Cosmo doing it, it's Iris doing it to her. So I don't know how this works anymore. I don't know how this works anymore. For the remainder of the season, Cosmo stays here as Iris, and Iris leaves and goes back to Axel as Cosmo with the rest of the friend group. No way. <laughs> お嬢様の風間がついていくわけにもいかないですし。本当ですか？めぐみんお姉ちゃん。めぐみんお姉ちゃんフロムカズマです。めぐみんさん、よろしくお願いします。任せてください。買い物の値切り方から。イエーイ
<laughs> it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Cosmo's having way too much fucking fun. <laughs> yeah, bye. <laughs> the self glaze. Okay. Oh, what's up, Mitsurugi? Don't try to charm me. Get the fuck out of here with that fucking main character smile. <laughs> Ikemen! Ikemen! You can't keep getting away with this! Mitsurugi is actually a good person. <laughs> Execute! <laughs> Hang him! This was having way too much fun with this. That's kind of cute. That was actually kind of cute. How can Cosma be this fucking cute, bro? Lalatina. Mess with what? Mess with. Opai. I mean, watch your back. <laughs> so it worked. Claire is super, you know, into cute Iris. This actually worked. This is like, you know, Kirito and GGO trying to fucking catfish, you know, be like, oh, can you please help me? <laughs> Claire's a fucking lollicon. Actually, lollicon. Oh, we get to finally see her true colors. I was just joking about the lollicon part, but she's actually. She's actually. She sounds not that I might. Hey, yo! Claire, chill. Where did Claire go? Take your fucking shirt off. Let me watch your back. <laughs> the, the tactical cry. Checking the water? Oh, Holy. We always get this view, though. Quadra titty! Cameraman, go down a little bit more. These aren't the cheeks that I'm trying to see! What the fuck? Oh. Oh. <laughs> the degenerate isekai characters. Why they wanted this power. He just started to realize like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cameraman, you're clutching right now. Holy shit. Holy fuck. Wow. Yeah, we'll think about the consequences tomorrow. You're not showing this. You're not showing this. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Who knows how far they want? But, uh, I think it's kind of implied that, you know. Anyways. <laughs> What the fuck is this biker kid? <laughs> and this is Iron. What happened outside? What the fuck are these biker kids? His nipples are covered by stars. <laughs> Megumi is coaching Kazuma. <laughs> Today's episode. What is the camera work right now? Dude, this is actually he's hard carrying this episode. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Iris! <laughs> what a fucking cracked episode. Listen. Listen, the, the, the Iris, you know, in the bass scene with Claire and La Latina, yes, the fan service is there. But in terms of just pure comedy, something about super muscular, you know, uh, scary looking dudes acting like, oh, you hurt my fee wee <laughs> The camera work, dude, this is fucking peak. That's actually fucking peak Konosuma. There you have it. I mean, I don't know if we actually beat a Demon Lord Commander or a General. Apparently there was one present, but fuck if I know, because Cosmo died from a gang of cobalt and went to Eris. Plot related wise.
Uh, we have been assigned a mission to collect all of the hack items that Aqua has unleashed onto this world. And I guess now we're going to get a series of events where fun shit like this is going to happen. We only know the existence of two, right? The body swap and random spawn monster. And you need to have some kind of offering to then... Uh, make that monster kind of submit to you. I'm not sure if there's more, you know, holy item, super OP items, but those are the only two in existence, so we can kind of anticipate whenever that monster spawn's gonna happen. That's gonna be actually so fun. Just like a random monster fucking spawns out of fucking nowhere. And then the rest was just like a body swap episode. This is actually hilarious. Just like, poor Iris, dude, getting shh, gets punched like this, because she feels the pain too, man. And it's all fucking Megumin's fault. Megumin was coaching Iris to say all these fucking insults to these biker gang dudes, and the biker gang dudes are too soft and couldn't take it, but... It is what it is. But hey, if you're still here, if you did enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.